Uh, today we're going to work on uh, ViaCAD 2D 3D. It's a very uh, well-priced uh, tool to do 2 and 3D, 3D designed uh, work. Let's set up our uh, desktop and uh, let's just set preferences first. The preferences we're going to use, the units, I've already chosen inches but you can choose uh, some when you're working on your own, millimeters or centimeters, but today from to help in this we'll use inches. The next step when we set set up the window, uh, the desktop, when we do that it will stay uh, as uh, remembered as your preferences. So let's just move this. Um, we want to use show hide and it's already down there because I've used it before but you can just drag it down when it pops up. Um, Inspector, top right, um, that's good for that. We're going to go over to here to this X, which is a corner trim. And we're going to try and drag it off. It's not easy the first couple times, but then you, you do get it. And we'll drag that down to the bottom right. So that's how our desktop will look like uh, from now on. Here is um, the tools. You can follow the cursor. This is a selection tool. So this is what you choose to pick points or objects on the screen. And we'll get to that. Um, as you hover over the tools, you'll see or the you'll see the names popping up. That's very helpful. So we're gonna start off with the single line. So we'll click single line and when we click on the screen and we go to the right when we snap on a long X it means that we are at zero degrees. If we come back and we click and go down we realize we're on the same thing shows up but we're at 270 degrees. You can see over here. So what I've done is a simple line I decide to do that line and I want to click 2, I'll click 2 and then return and that's exactly 2 inches. Try that again, click down, perpendicular, we'll pick 3, enter 3 and then return and it's 3 inches. We'll leave that for a second. We'll go next to the circle and what we want to use generally is the one point circle circle one point. Just click on the screen and again <clears throat> you'll see up here to get that to change you can push tab and that should be tab. Uh, I can change to 0.5. Enter. It'll change size. The next tool is the spline. The triplet spline but I call it a spline. And that you click Somewhere on the screen, click again, change the amplitude, click, and click again. Um, to finish off, I should have said, to finish off, we double click. Let's try that again. Click, 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 cl double click, and it's done. Uh, the next tool we use is what we have down below which is the uh, corner trim and I would pick the second one the corner trim when you when this defaults at a new the trim is not what you want to use to to uh, affect a trim the corner trim is what you want so let's just uh, I'm not sure if you draw in the same way I have but we'll just do that corner trim and it trims that corner um, so those are your tools